Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to create automated email notifications in your Zoho CRM system. Once we log into our Zoho CRM system of course we'll come to the home screen. From here we want to go to the cog in the top right hand corner. Uh, do ensure you have administrative permissions otherwise we won't have access to the back end of the system. Once you do press the cog and then we want to go to automation. And then from automation, we have two options. We've got workflow rules and actions. In this tutorial, we're going to be using both. So there's two parts to this. Um, <clears throat> the workflow is essentially the trigger, what triggers, and the action. And then the, obviously the action is the, is the email notification. So we want to set up the uh, action first. So we we'll select action. <clears throat> and then from here, you can see we've got two types of actions. We've got email notifications and we've got tasks. So obviously either a, an action would occur where a task is assigned or an action would occur where an email notification is sent. So we want to create a new one. We want to go plus new alert. And then we want to give our new action a name. So I'm going to call this contact uh, new new contact created as an example. And then we're going to use the module contacts. So essentially what we're going to create is a an email notification to trigger when a new contact record has been created and then we want to choose our recipients now as you can quickly see here it says that the email uh, so sending email notifications to customers by choosing the email address field is available in professional edition only now that's a really really useful tool obviously we can't use that in the free version as it states but a professional edition and anything above above that um, you can and that would be a really really good uh, marketing tool but we can choose certain recipients inside the uh, Zoho CRM system obviously they'd all be internal but it would be the owner of the record the creator of the record or the owners oh, the record owners manager so you can select one of them you can select all of them um, in this instance we're going to select the owner so this essentially is saying that when a when this action is triggered, the owner will receive the email notification and only the owner, and then we'll press save. <clears throat> and then we can also add additional recipients. So anyone that's not directly related to that record, but you'd want to keep informed about new, uh, about this particular email notification, you can just add their email in and then use a comma uh, and then add someone else's if you so wish to add more than one. Um, and that's, you know, that's a useful way of keeping people informed and then we also need to add an email template I've, I've already created one just for this video but you can create your own templates you can also upload to email templates and you can make them look really fancy and, re and you know obviously applicable to your business put your business logo on there etc and uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna select my template that I've created and then I'm going to press save and then this is the new um, the new action that's been created we can now see once we go into the email notifications we can see that new contact created is now an action so now we've got our action all we need to do is create our workflow so if we go over to workflows on the left side here under automation and press workflows we need to create a new rule it is essentially a workflow um, and we need to obviously apply that to the contacts for our example um, so okay, contact, give it a name, contact record created and then press next. Now obviously we need to decide when this workflow is going to trigger our action. So we need to start setting parameters. In this particular instance it's just going to be on create. However you can have when a, when a new record is created, when a new record is created or edited or when a new record or, or when a record is edited. We're going to use create and we'll select next and then we can select some criteria to say okay i want to set some conditions um for which uh, the, to apply the rule to to uh, that ensure that the um the workflow has to meet or the record has to meet the criteria before that before the action can be triggered now you can have multiple lines of criteria if you like and you can also set them to and or relationships which is also really useful so you can say account name equals x or account name equals x or you could have account name equals x and owner of the record is 
x so you know that's a really useful tool and you can build that out as you wish um, in this instance we do not need that so i'm going to select all contacts and then press next and then i just need to assign our instant action so what we created in the first part um, and it, obviously it was an email notification and we want to just associate that action to this particular workflow and then that's it that's save that and then that is automatically live and every time a new record is created uh, the owner of that record will be emailed to say that the new record has been created now whether this is a particularly useful workflow is entirely uh, up to you i don't think it is but as a good example um, it demonstrates how workflows and actions can be created to keep users notified on behaviors inside the Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create email notifications in your Zoho CRM system. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.